Hi, it's Katrina. From giant worms with teeth waiting to eat you to an elusive hairy ape, here are 10 encounters with legendary creatures. Number 10. Mongolian Death Worm In the vast sands of the Gobi Desert lives a creature that, according to many, is too dangerous to even consider approaching, the Mongolian Death Worm. Locals refer to it as Olgoi Korkoi, which roughly translates to large intestine worm, which makes sense given its description. It is said to be dark red in color with spikes on either end. It has no eyes but a large round mouth, and it is said to grow up to a little over three feet in length. The creature supposedly spends most of its time buried beneath the sand while it waits for prey, but some claim to have spotted it on the surface. Reports state that it shoots up from the ground to attack its prey, which can include camels, smaller rodents, and even people. What makes this such a dangerous and fearsome creature is not its hunting habits, but its methods of killing. Allegedly, the death worm can spit acidic venom that is almost instantly fatal to anything that comes in contact with it. It is also believed to be able to deliver a fatal electric shock to its prey from a distance. Many researchers and cryptozoologists have attempted to find evidence of the Mongolian death worm, but they have always come up short. At one point, the Mongolian government even made it illegal to search for the worm, but eventually that ban was lifted. Could it have been because they feared the worm was so dangerous? or because they didn't want the public searching for a creature that doesn't exist. We may never know for sure. Number 9. Alabama's Huggin' Molly In the town of Abbeville, Alabama, a local legend about a seven-foot-tall woman keeps residents on their toes. Dressed in black with a large-brimmed hat, Huggin' Molly is said to be a phantom-like creature who appears to children. When she does, she squeezes them tight and then screams in their ears. Other stories take the legend even further, saying she has hugged some people to death. Although there is no actual evidence of this phantom creature, local residents believe that the story of Molly is about a woman who lost her child and dealt with her sorrow by hugging children in the town. Instead of shying from this strange story, the town celebrates the legend of Huggin' Molly with a cafe that pays tribute to her, allowing the legend of Molly to live on. Would you let Huggin' Molly hug you? You might not have a choice. Number 8. The Taniwa Although you may be familiar with famous grainy photographs of mythological creatures, modern technology can give us a more detailed look at territory that had previously been unexplored. Engineer Peter Whitehira was researching locations for a holiday home when he spotted a strange anomaly on a satellite photo of Google Earth. It was a 12-meter-sized wake in the Bay of Islands, an area on the east coast of New Zealand. A native of New Zealand, the long swirl in the ocean of Oak Bay immediately made White Hira think of a story told by the Maori about a being called a Taniwa or Tanifa. These are creatures that live in dark waters with currents or giant waves. It often appears as a large shark, but most often looks like some sort of giant swimming gecko with spikes on its back. Each tribe might have its own Taniwa that serves as a guardian, but they will often battle other tribes both on land and at sea. Although the image was only spotted on the map and not in person, it is a striking visual and is definitely a reminder of the mysterious creatures that might still inhabit the sea that we just haven't been able to document. Number 7. The Ogopogo In Canada's British Columbia, hunter Bill Stesiuk spotted what he believed to be a legendary Canadian creature in 1978. This mysterious sighting sent him on a journey to uncover the truth about what he might have seen. He had seen three humps and a head moving through the water and over the years continued to conduct hunting expeditions on Okanagan Lake, hoping to catch another glimpse. In 2003, he began collecting what he called credible reported sightings on a website called Ogopogo Quest. The Ogopogo is now known as Canada's Loch Ness Monster, and it is actually the best documented of all lake monsters. After listening to dozens of witness accounts over several decades, Stesiuk believes the creature was a type of large, snake-like aquatic creature that inhabits the lake. However, even more curious is the fact that within a three-week stretch in 2018, there were another three sightings in the area. Stesiuk believes that because the lake was open to the ocean eons ago, the sea creature swam into the lake and became trapped once the water receded to their current levels. The Ogopogo has its roots in native Canadian Indian legends of a beast that would demand a sacrifice from travelers attempting to cross the lake. While most likely they were referring to a spirit, perhaps they are one and the same. Again in 2015, Bill saw a large snake-like head popping out of the lake close to shore. He grabbed his camera and captured an image of the creature that deepened his belief in its existence. 
With sightings usually happening between the last week of August and the first week of October, perhaps there really is something to this elusive creature. And now for number six, but first, a big thank you to everyone who requested this topic, including Kaides Manaye and SKS900. There were many of you who wanted videos about mythical and legendary creatures, so there will definitely be more of these. Number six, the Wolf Woman of Mobile. In the spring of 1971, people living in Mobile, Alabama and areas nearby were said to have seen a strange looking creature lurking around. Described as having the upper body of a woman and the lower limbs of a wolf, one of the witnesses described the wolf woman as being a woman and a wolf, pretty and hairy. Over the next week, the local newspaper received at least 50 sightings of the strange creature. With reports that people were chased and stalked by the creature who roamed around backyards, police opened an investigation just because there were so many sightings. Is it possible that the people of Mobile encountered a real mythological creature? In Native American culture, the wolf is associated with a skinwalker who can transform itself from a person to an animal. Although werewolves, half-human and half-animal, are common in mythology, could this be what the people of Alabama found lurking in the darkness that spring? Whatever the explanation, reports of sightings stopped after about 10 days and the wolf woman was never seen again. Number 5. The Big Goose of the Pacific Northwest it's no secret that Canadian geese get a bad rap. With a reputation for being overly protective and sometimes snapping at people, this feathered creature can sometimes be seen as a nuisance. However, they can get much scarier. Stories of an extremely large goose-like creature were first recorded in the 15th century. Journals kept by French voyagers who encountered the native Ojibwe people near Lake Superior contained stories told to them about myths and legends, including a giant angry goose. The bird is described as being anywhere from 10 to 30 feet tall, with a wingspan from 15 to 50 feet and weighing in excess of 1,000 pounds. Covered in large brown, white, gray, and black feathers, the big goose sounds strikingly similar to your average Canadian goose. Reports by those who have supposedly encountered the creature say that the air pressure changes when the big goose is nearby, causing a vacuum effect that draws objects towards it. With reports continuing well into the 90s, encounters centered around the Tillamook Forest, where various families have reported encounters while camping and walking through the woods. Most scientists, however, discount the existence of the big goose and believe it is a combination of folklore, misidentification, or even manifestations of the fear of birds. However, whatever the origin of the story, this strange cryptid remains a part of Western Canada's mythological folklore. Number 4. The Worm Creature of Iceland Yes, another worm. Weird, right? In 2012, a strange video appeared on YouTube showing a mysterious shape moving below the ice in a lake in Iceland. For some, the video is proof that the legendary sea serpent or monster, the subject of folk tales in the area since the 14th century, was real. Known as the Lagerfjot worm, the creature is a beast said to measure anywhere from 40 to 200 feet long. It will wait for people and animals to cross the lake and then it will coil up and strike. A sighting of the creature means disaster is imminent. A Finnish researcher disagreed and analyzed the video by using screen captures to prove that the item under the ice wasn't actually moving and instead was a fishing net or a piece of cloth. However, the local government decided to form a truth commission as a way to determine whether the footage was real or not. They offered a $4,000 reward for proof of the worm creature, so if the council approved it, the video's owner was entitled to the prize. In the end, seven out of the 13 members of the panel ruled that the footage was in fact real. There are also many other reported sightings of this creature, but since the lake is so remote, it might be possible the worm of Iceland is able to remain hidden. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Number 3. The Flatwoods Monster of West Virginia When tales of an extraterrestrial spread through the Upper Elk River area of West Virginia in the 50s, locals were pretty alarmed. In 1952, a group of children, a mom and their dog, watched a UFO crash behind a hill near the town of Flatwoods. After the group searched the woods, they discovered a supposed crash site, and then things got scary. A towering alien moved threateningly toward the group. Described as having green skin, a reptilian head, and long, thin arms, the creature was also legless and floating upon a device that allowed it to effortlessly glide across the ground. They ran back to town in terror from the 10-foot monster with bright yellow eyes that began hissing at them. 
The story continued when various illnesses were blamed on the monster and the sulfur fumes that emanated from the supposed crash site. More sightings were later reported in and around the area, and the U.S. Air Force started an inquiry as part of an initiative called Project Blue Book. Number 2. The Florida Skunk Ape Over the years, there have been numerous sightings of a strange beast known as the Florida Skunk Ape or the Swamp Sasquatch. It is a cryptid believed to be related to Bigfoot, about 6 to 7 feet tall, very hairy, and extremely smelly. David Sheely has spent his life studying the creature and believes that it is real and that there are 7 to 9 skunk apes currently roaming the Everglades. Sheely reports that he has spotted 3 skunk apes while out doing his field studies and tries to raise awareness about their existence. Evidence of the creature currently consists of photos, hair samples, and a few foot casts, which show that the skunk ape has four toes instead of the five that Bigfoot supposedly has. All sightings have reported the horrible smell that accompanies the ape wherever it goes. With so much of Florida comprised of vast tracts of swampland, there are many who believe this creature is more than a local myth, although the origin of this strange, hairy creature remains a mystery. Number 1. The Chupacabra Stories of the vampire-like creature first emerged in Puerto Rico in the 1990s. It began when farmers started noticing that their livestock was beginning to get attacked and killed at night by a vampire-like creature that would leave puncture marks and drain their blood. They described the creature as being around 4 feet tall and standing on its hind legs. It had a green reptilian body, large oval head, and bulging red eyes. It also had fang teeth, a long tongue, sharp claws, and spines going down its head and back. Benjamin Radford, a research fellow with the Committee for Skeptical Inquiry, set out to find the creature and over five years traveled as far as the jungles of Nicaragua and even located the person who first reported the chupacabra. As the story continued to shift and change, new reports surfaced describing the creature as less alien and more like a hairless, dog-like animal walking on four legs. Chupacabra bodies had also reportedly been found, so Radford decided to do DNA tests on them. However, the bodies turned out to be coyotes, dogs, or raccoons. Because the animals often had mange, they lose their hair, which could be the reason why they get identified as chupacabras. Again, the explanation for this is not a fantastic one, but there still are those hopeful that there is a species out there feeding on livestock that just hasn't been identified. Thanks for watching! Were any of these new to you? Do you believe any of these are real? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you are new here. See you next time! Bye!